Good morning. Today I will be reading the scripture from Acts 16, verses 13 through 15. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate to the riverbank, where we thought there might be a place for prayer. We sat down and began to talk with the women who had gathered. One of those women was Lydia, a Gentile God worshiper from the city of Thyara, a dealer in purple cloth as she listened as an inheritance. He went out without knowing where he was going. By faith, he lived in the land he had been promised as a stranger. He lived in tents along with Isaac and Jacob, who were co-heirs of the same promise. He was looking forward to a city that has foundations, who architect and builder is God. By faith, even Sarah received the ability to have a child, though she herself was barren and past her age for having children, because she believed that the one who promised was faithful. So descendants were born from one man, and he was as good as dead. They were as many as the number of the stars in the sky, and as countless as the grains of sand on the seashore. All of these people die in faith without receiving the promises, but they say the promises from a distance and welcome them. They confess that they were strangers of and immigrants on earth. People who say this kind of thing make it clear that they are looking for a homeland. If they had been thinking about the country that had they left, they would have had the opportunity to return to it. But as the point in time, they are longing for a better country, that is a heavenly one. Therefore, God isn't ashamed to be called their God. He has prepared a city for them. Thank you. Greetings, Cedar Grove, and good morning. It is truly an honor to stand before you this morning and introduce to you our honored guest, Pastor Kimberlyn Sinkfield. Our sister in Christ comes to us this morning on loan from St. James United Methodist Church in Alpharetta. Amen. You have her complete bio within your bulletins, but I would like to highlight that Pastor Sinkfield was commissioned a provisional elder and currently serves in the capacity of associate pastor at St. James, which means, ladies and gentlemen, commissioned to further be ordained. What an awesome God we serve to have someone surrender to the call to say, yes, Lord, send me. So one of these days, we're actually going to hear her name again. I know we will, and we'll be able to say, wow, we knew her when. <laughs> Amen. Prior to accepting her call, Pastor Sinkfield attended and graduated from Clark Atlanta University with a Bachelor of Arts degree in accounting and earned her Master of Divinity degree with honors from Gammon Theological Seminary. Pastor Singfield completed a clinical pastoral education internship and residency as re-entry chaplain at Metro Transitional Center. There she discovered a, pas a passion for ministering to incarcerated women. I can tell you that that is truly a blessing for someone who wants to serve those who no longer has a voice in society, someone who no longer has any type of hope that they would be accepted by society. After completing her CPE, she continued to serve the fenced-in flock 
as chaplain to not only 234 female residents, but 40 plus of their staff at MTC through a funding that took place with Heartbound Ministries until June of last year, 2017. She also served as the volunteer services coordinator to more than 100 volunteers serving the residences, residents at MTC because of this wonderful, passionate work and desire to serve in that capacity. Pastor Kimberlin is the recipient of the 2017 Good Shepherd Award, an honor given to the Chaplain of the Year within the Georgia Correction Department of Corrections. Amen. Amen. Please take note that Pastor Sinkfield is the current chaplain and chair of the in I'm sorry, a chair of the In the Spirit Committee in the East Point College Park, College Park Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta. Amen. She also serves on the advisory board of Asbury Harris Epworth Towers, which is a Wesley Woods Senior Living Facility. She is a recent graduate from the Black Church Leadership Development Series, which is an 18-month leadership program within the North Georgia Conference of the United Methodist Church. Two years ago, Cedar Grove and guests, I had the privilege to be able to have attended a Good Friday Seven Last Words service where Pastor Sinkfield provided one of the seven last words of Jesus. She was not only very powerful in her message, but I still remember your message to this day, my sister. I still remember your message to this day. You have blessed me abundantly. She can not only preach, but I've been told by little Birdie that she, she's got a little swag in the singing as well. <laughs> we are blessed and honored to welcome our sister, Pastor Sinkfield, and her voice will be the next voice heard immediately after our praise team this morning. Amen. Wonderful grace of 
Jesus always reaches me. Oh, yes, it does always reaches.